Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com. Let's take a look at the hourly chart for Ethereum versus the dollar. And here we are using the four hour chart. And I want to show you that there's a relationship between this ultimate highs right there for ETH and then also the highs there and the current highs. There's some similarities to all three. Blah, blah. There are some similarities to all these three highs here, here, and here. And what is that? Well, if we use the RSI, we see some interesting backtest failure levels. So take this line, for example. You can see that the RSI was rejected here, which actually gave us that high. And then there's another trend line break, which gave us the ultimate high. And then there's another trend line. I'll draw it different. I'll draw it like this. Trend line resistance on a back test failure give us those highs and right now we are seeing over the last day or so if we draw a trend line like so we can see that Ethereum has come back to test this line it has failed as of right now giving us those short-term highs so one can speculate that as long as we are seeing rejection on this blue line it suggests that Ethereum might be setting up to move lower. In fact, if you take a look at the way the RSI is positioned, we can see that there is emerging evidence of topside RSI resistance. And we've gone about this line once before, we were rejected, and then again. So let me do that one more time. Looks like the line has been do it like that and you can see this has been twice rejected here and again here so we can assume that around current levels if this continues being the case in other words if we start drifting lower from current levels as far as the RSI is concerned then that is suggestive here, here, and twice there, and then there is the back test line, like that. So net net we can see that it has come back as far as we can see as of right now. This has been rejected twice on those two lines. Right now we are looking at markets that are pointing for a pullback unless the market can move above these two resistance lines. So right now looking at, as though it's going to be a pullback situation unless it can break out. And one more time let's take a look at a snapshot of the cryptocurrencies and here what we can anticipate is if Ethereum is pulling back then all the cryptocurrencies which have had a nice couple of days to the upside are gonna start struggling for example we can see here take a look at BTC highs for the day is at 10,176 as far as Bitfinex exchange is concerned Eric Mwadith, mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e I see